November 5th, 2038. 9.58 a.m. I guess I'm Marcus again. Yeah. Oh, it's a toy. <laughs> That's kind of adorable. This game's making me feel weird, man. Like, a weird mix of good and sad at the same time because it's just so beautiful. Like, I, 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 I'm honestly speechless with how I feel right now, you know? Does that make sense? Also, hello, anyone currently watching. I don't know how many there are of you, but I know you're there. Huh? Wait, there's something down there. I saw a thing over here, and I'm like, I want to know. And it's only just now that I see this spiral staircase that I probably could... Oh, never mind. Hmm. That's odd. It won't let me interact with it now. I saw it upstairs, from upstairs, but it won't let me touch anything. Alright, back upstairs then. Really wish there was a run button or a way to speed up movement, because this feels like it takes forever to just walk. Ah, wrong button. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. Oh, that sounds lovely. It sounds like a good day to spend <coughs> in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything.
show me your arm, please, Carl? No. Carl. Thank <laughs> you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey, what happened to your clothes? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. <laughs> they think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? Yeah, really. I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. I didn't mean to say stupid game, but yeah, that, that control is a bit weird. Okay, so I can't go through that door with him. He's like, Wee! <laughs> I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. <laughs> I saw the smiley face on the cup. Thank you, Marcus. <laughs> Television. You find something to do while I finish my breakfast. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carl.
What are you reading? Uh, Macbeth. It's one of the books you recommended. <laughs> so, what do you think? Human emotions are intriguing. Though, I can't really say that I fully understand them. Humans don't understand them either. They rule our lives and we have no idea why they make us feel like beggars or kings. Life without emotions wouldn't be worth living. I kind of agree with that. And that's what makes Data from Star Trek TNG well, so special. Take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself. And make your choices. Decide who you are. This game is fucking gorgeous, become. man. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. The facial movements, everything. This is Uncanny Valley to the max, and I love it. It really makes me feel really good about humanity in a way. About the future of gaming, you know? I want to play the piano. Will it let me do that? Hmm. Alright. Uh, where's the studio? It's back here. Damn, that looked cool. Okay, that's really cool, too. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. so interesting that all I'm doing is remedial tasks, mundane tasks, and yet I'm loving every second of it. I... How do games do that to you, man? <laughs> it's like, I just want to know more about this world. I want to really dive into it. And I don't get that way often. I am honestly starstruck, spellbound, whatever the word you want to look is, use is there. What's your verdict, Marcus? I like it. Yes, there is something about it. Mm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Mm. Try painting something. <laughs> Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> sure. <laughs> this is weirdly heartwarming, man. And I don't know why. <laughs> it's almost like a passing the torch kind of thing. I just don't know the right words, you know? a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about 
replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. <laughs> Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. I will. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Something's Listen, not right here. Uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? It just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, he no, is. I swear it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash. That's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. I don't blame yeah. him. Yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's, what's he got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Man, that one was a bit emotional. <laughs> hey, it's the RK-800 unit. The one from the start, right? I thought so. Or at least it's that model type, maybe not the exact one.
there's word allowed in here. Johan Kim. Dennis Ward. Jimmy Peterson. Lieutenant Anderson Heck. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Wait, is this from a plastic asshole like you? Back in the past? Just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Maybe, maybe not. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> no. Where? Never mind. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender? The same again, please. See that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. I'm not a I'm not a bar guy, so I don't know what make it a double means. I assume it means like fill the glass all the way instead of halfway. That's the only thing I'm, that makes sense to me in that regard. But I don't know. Did you say homicide? Josh Douglas from Channel 16, can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Have they said anything? What? Typical DPD, they don't tell us shit. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me! <laughs> what part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evil <laughs> Hank. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around 8 from the landlord. The lieutenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That um, oops. found the body. Smell. Was Can't even you worse smell that we smell? The, the victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for th theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a low. The red ice. Huh. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed easy. What more than calling everybody? 
somebody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more from the... Dried blood. Coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over... No fingerprints? Here. Android involved? Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. More dried blood. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The cut... Claire must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his hand? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. Ooh. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. I am alive. What? human rights like this. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. The tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. like the part. Carlos Ortiz. Signs of a struggle. Hmm. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Took a knife. Deviant was attacked. Emotional shock. Android sex officially better. I gotta know about that. Sorry, ladies, but plastic can't be beat. The result of our survey is in for first sex with androids. <laughs> Hell yeah, buddy. I'm just kidding. Someone buy me a sex robot. I'm kidding.
Carlos Ortiz again. Over some bottles. The victim fell here. The victim was stabbed. They came from the kitchen. He was stabbed. 28 times. Damn. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. of writing. It's down here. A fetish. Hmm. Or an effigy one. One of the two. figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... in the kitchen. No, no! It was in the bathroom. They're obviously... 
obvious signs of a struggle. Question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android with the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... the living room. sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. <laughs> it evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. Well, I guess maybe I got it right in the first place, after all, you know? Maybe. If not, I can always fix that on a replay or something. That chair. I'm going to check something. Uh, gonna check something.
pardon me. this camera angle that it's forcing me to have. I can't see anything right now. I was just defending myself. have a choice. He wouldn't let me Come choose. On! But if it really was self-defense, then... Okay, so it looks like I did it right. Cool. Hey, Jinrai. <laughs> nice parody on my uh, stream title. <laughs> but how you doing, Jinrai? I doing fine. <laughs> Sorry, my cur my circuits got confused. <laughs> my mistake. I was in the kitchen. I did what I could. Androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They never tired. Stop moving around, for Christ's sake! You're making Sorry. me nervous. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? <laughs> Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. Jeez. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. 
<laughs> Can you blame her? Took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. No, my food. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. No, don't hit her. You. Uh. Get back here. Come back here. Come back here right now. So you can hit her some more, pal. I don't think so. I'm gonna move, because I'm protecting that girl. I took off without a word. I could have been happy. I could have had a family. But no! Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna move. I felt. Everything I could to make her happy it just wasn't enough. I just wasn't good enough for her. Little fucking brat. will protect Alice. Hit your daughter, son. I'm not even gonna try to reason with you. That's an unforgivable offense, in my opinion. You don't hit your children. Uh oh. Sorry, I I I, I do not know why that one got me so visceral. I didn't even have time to think. I just acted on pure emotion. I, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I just... I had to get her out of that situation. I had to. God. There's a lot of possible outcomes there. Lord have... Wow, dude. I almost get the feeling I might have been able to save them both if I would have ran and got Todd's gun. But I'm not sure, and I don't want to know. <laughs> At least not right now. I'm living with the decisions that I make for the first playthrough. That was 
by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. I hear you there, man. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. I'm completely enraptured at this point. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. <laughs> oh, wrong way. Did you leave the light on in the studio? Uh-oh. No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. doing you refuse to help me so i'm helping myself it's crazy what some people pay for this shit don't touch them look they're all going to be mine sooner or later anyway just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance what the hell they away from there get him out of here be reasonable this isn't going to get you anywhere all you ever do is tell me to go away what's wrong dad not good enough for you not perfect like this fucking thing that's enough get out right now what makes what? it so special Ooh. anyway huh what's it got that i don't leave him alone <laughs> come on let's see what you got marcus don't defend yourself you hear me don't do anything go ahead hit me what you waiting for think you're a man act like one <laughs> Stop it! Doesn't matter too much of a pussy! Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! No. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm gonna destroy you. And I'll just be me and my dad. Mm -hmm. Leo. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, man. Leo. I didn't know that was going to happen. My little boy. Carl, I... They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Carl, no. No, please, I don't want to leave you. Please, I can't. I don't want to leave you. Get out! Now! Go! Marcus! Don't fucking move! I probably could have handled that a little bit better. I didn't exactly have a choice there. All right. Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife?
How long were you in the attic? Why didn't she even try to run away? I probably should have endured a little longer, but... Again, I'm just acting on pure emotion, man, so sometimes I don't think. Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. Hey! Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Hope I didn't fuck up with Marcus, though. If I did, though, it's it's whatever. I just gotta live with the decisions that I make. Model HK four hundred. Manufacture date twenty nine. Okay. Burn marks. Repeated marking over 16 months caused by cigarettes. Oh, well, I don't want any spoilers. Hit marks. Non critical damage level 2 caused by baseball bat. Dried blood. thing to find here. There it is. Processing LED. Signs of software instability. Probability of self-destruction low. Reach optimal stress for confession. Oh boy. My name is Connor. Oh, I should have used one of the unlocked options. Oh well. What's your name? Too low. Oh, crap. You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? I'm not going to hurt you. I just need to ask you some questions. So we can understand what happened. Damn it! I knew that was a bad idea. Uh, let's see. You don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. How is that? How did. Oh, no, that increased. Okay. Um. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. That got some. That jarred him a little. What? What are they gonna do to me? They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? I had to. You just have left me there. I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I... I can't. Man, the graphics are good. Choose approach. Well, what am I? Oh, uh, convince it. 
understand. I understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger, and frustration. No one can blame. No, you don't go down, stress. Indifferent. Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder, right? There we go. Warn. If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? Dead. He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, <laughs> he took a bat and started hitting me. That was the one 19 days ago. For the first time, I felt scared. That's a reasonable re Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. So I grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again and again until he collapsed. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. There was blood everywhere. The sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I'm I was loving just this game, man. a piece of plastic. Every inch, I every moment, I love it. To tell him he was wrong. RA-9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come. When we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. I don't want to be the masters. I want to go inside. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. Who's RA9? RA9. Who is RA9? That's what I just said. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. I felt anger, hatred, and then I knew what I had to do. Why did you hide in the attic instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. Saved your life. Chris, lock it up. Stop calling it it. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. No, no, no. The fuck are you doing? You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking How about mouth. you do the same? Huh? Chris, you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. 
I warned you, motherfucker! And I warned you. That's enough. Mind Jesus. your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. Thank you, Hank. You're not gonna get away with it this time. <laughs> Everything is all right. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. <laughs> I kind of agree with that one, Jinrai. The truth is this.